Jack Ryan really is a lucky character. With five different Hollywood stars portraying the role in different shows and movies, this fictional hero is, in fact, one of our favorites. But which one of these is the best and sits on the throne? In this video, let's find out which actor portrayed Jack Ryan in the best way. We'll be ranking them from worst to best. So let's get right into it. To begin with, let us remind you of all the actors who appeared as Jack Ryan. The fictional character that got famous after Tom Clancy, the world-renowned author, created him and put him in the world of his Ryanverse novel series. No wonder the novels topped the New York Times bestseller list for three decades. Because of its popularity, the novels got live-action adaptations, and since then, we've seen five actors play the role of the protagonist. The first one who appeared as Ryan was Alec Baldwin, whom fans saw play the role back in 1990 in the first-ever adaptation. Later, Ben Affleck, Chris Pine, Harrison Ford, and John Krasinski also played the role. And there's been a long debate among the fans about which of these actors was the best match for the character. Well, let's find out. First, we have Ben Affleck. You can stone us for this, yet still, we won't change our stance. Ben Affleck as Jack Ryan wasn't something we liked very much. And we know for a fact that most fans will agree with us. Affleck appeared as Ryan in The Sum of All Fears, which was released in 2002. At the time, he was most famous for his acting in box office hit movies like Jiggly, and on top of that, he was in the limelight for dating Jennifer Lopez. But we doubt that anyone saw him playing the role at all. Not to mention, the film featured a younger version of Ryan, and uh, we totally understand why this whole matter was so controversial at the moment. He wasn't made for the role, not for the younger version at least. Affleck's Ryan was actually after a neo Nazi terrorist who is trying to set off a whole nuclear weapon in Baltimore. While Affleck fans might bash us, we're not questioning the actor's acting skills. It was just that in 2002, he didn't have that gravitas required to play such a character. And most importantly, he was surrounded by some strong actors, including Calm Fjord, Philip Baker Hall, Morgan Freeman, and others. But the film was still a great addition, even though no one will ever say that Affleck was the best Jack Ryan. However, if we're to cast today's Affleck as Ryan, we believe he'd make the best Ryan we've ever watched. He's now got everything that it requires to play the role and we'd be the ones to vote for that if it happens. Next up, we have Chris Pine's Ryan. After playing Captain Kirk in Star Trek films for a long time, entering the Jack Ryan franchise was a brand new experience for Pine. That's the reason why we won't complain about it too much. He was new to it, and it's totally understandable. In the 2014 film Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit, Pine was cast to portray the legendary protagonist. For this Ryan, the origin story was set just after the 9-11 events, and this was one reason why this movie had a lot more action than other films from the franchise. While some fans love action, it wasn't good for this film. The problem was that it had started making the film look like it was one of the Jason Bourne movies, and it ultimately made everyone question the authenticity and uniqueness of the franchise. In this movie, Ryan is a CIA agent, an analyst who poses as a Wall Street broker, and the plot follows his journey into unfolding the Russian plot against the U.S. economy that could collapse the whole country's economy. Not just that, but he also stops a terrorist attack on Wall Street by the villain named Victor Sherevin during this whole thing. Yes, Pine is a perfect actor, and he's probably the best choice for action films. Not to mention, he's also appeared properly analytical and intelligent, as Ryan should, but he could have done even better. But then again, it was a whole shift from one franchise to another, so we understand why he didn't end up as the best of all. Now, let's talk about Alec Baldwin's iconic Jack Ryan. He was the first one to have ever portrayed the role, but it was hard for us to keep him at the top because, quite honestly, some actually did more justice to the character than him. During his quest to appear as Jack Ryan, Ryan, Baldwin got to share the screen with Sean Connery, who appeared as Captain Marco Ramius. The film was released in 1990 and was titled The Hunt for Red October. In this, Ryan was a historian, while Marco Ramius was someone he met in Russia. Ryan deduces that Marco, the Soviet submarine captain, had plans to defect to the U.S., and in order to help him out with it, he helps Ramius out in making his plans work. But that also puts him at a great deal of risk. The Ryan in this movie was perfect, but there was a problem with the storyline. While it was supposed to be a movie about Jack Ryan, it was more focused on Ramius. At some points, it feels like the film is about him and not Ryan. In fact, some might even call it a film in which Connery starred as the lead. After this, we didn't see Baldwin play the role again, which was disappointing, but the studio cast Harrison Ford for the role. Up next, we have Harrison Ford. After he replaced Baldwin as Ryan, fans saw a total reboot of the character. In fact, we can say that Ford was the one to redefine Ryan yet once again. Tom Clancy's CIA analyst was back, and Ford took him to the big screen in 1992 
1992 when the film Patriot Games was released. Not just that. In 1994, we once again saw him appear as Ryan in the film Clear and Present Danger. For him, it was a transition from the Indiana Jones franchise to Jack Ryan. But because the two characters are often compared with each other based on their similarities, we believe Ford knew how to do justice to it. He had just completed the Indiana Jones trilogy at the time he started working on the 1992 film. Not to mention, he's the only actor who played the role twice, and many consider him to be the best of all to date. Yes, he might be the greatest, but we beg to disagree. He captured the true essence and core of the character as a CIA analyst, educator, and historian. On top of that, he also portrayed the role of a loving family man perfectly. In fact, it's hard for us to point out any flaws, but we still think there's one actor who's the best Jack Ryan so far, and that's John Krasinski. Lastly, here's why we think John is the best Ryan so far. John, just like Ford, redefined the character. Not only that, but he also managed to bring the character back to its roots as a CIA agent. But what's even more important is that he's the one to bring it back in the form of a whole series. Season 1 depicts the story and adventures of Ryan, who's embroiled in a Middle Eastern terrorist plot. But at the same time, we also get to see his romance with Dr. Kathy Mueller, played by Abby Cornish. Later in Season 2, we see how he exposes the corruption involving a South American nation in the U.S. He's shown as a fugitive on the run, and during that time, he also tries his best to uncover a Russian nuclear weapons plot. That's something you'll watch in Season 3. The reason why we believe this version is the best is mostly that it's a series, and it tells a lot more than what a movie could do. Not just that, this Ryan is actually modeled after Ford's Ryan, as you can clearly notice the same depth, intelligence, and righteousness in Krasinski's Ryan as well. In short, he portrays the character in such a way that actors like Pine and Affleck couldn't do. It's actually the younger Ryan here that we love. While the other best Ryans were in their older ages, John's Ryan is, in fact, the younger version of the fictional hero. The essence of the past is pretty evident, and it even makes us nostalgic. The show's hero knows exactly what he's saying, which makes him much better than Pine's Jack Ryan, as he was still a bit naive. The two can be compared closely as their plots are set in almost the same timeline, the post-9-11 world. There are so many similarities between them, but at the same time, they're totally different. And honestly, if we put up a poll for the fans to choose which one of these Ryans they loved the most, we believe it'd either be Ford or John, because the two only have the difference of age, and they're identical in nature otherwise. We love them both equally. And that's it for today, fam. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more amazing content soon.